it's so messed up. Last summer, with the murder of George Floyd, it felt like our nation was cracked open. And on one hand, you had a lot of defensiveness, and on the other hand, you had a lot of justified anger. And the night that he was murdered, I remember watching that video, and I sat at my piano, and I thought about my nieces. I have black and Latino and mixed family members, and my nieces are mixed. And I just sat there thinking like, oh my gosh. And so when I sat at the piano trying to process everything that I had just watched, this song came out. And on one hand, you know, the first verse is sort of a play on these things that white people we say that we think are helpful like this feels like too much and it isn't even my cup i feel so much shame knowing ignorance is to blame and then on the other hand i felt like with the chorus it was my heart reaching out to my nieces to be like you know it's not your turn to stand up it's my turn to stand up and i'm so sorry that it's taken me and our country this long to really face the racism that's been going on for centuries. Um, and I feel like at a bare minimum, at a bare minimum, people should just be able to walk outside and live their life. And right now, as we see on TV with um, Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders and all this hate that we're watching and all these hate crimes, like. We should be able to live in a country at the bare minimum where you can walk outside and feel safe. The reason why I'm partnering with Jabs for this show and this release is because I believe that racism is a learned attribute. And it starts with kids in school. And that's why I think learning how to combat bullying at such a young age is so vital. And I met Miss Gwen last summer at a Black Lives Rally protest. And when you meet her, you just know Miss Gwen is someone who is a mover and a shaker. And she has gone to such great lengths to help the, the um, community of Kalamazoo. And in 2016, her granddaughter, Justice, was being bullied. And so Justice came home and her sister Jade, and they told Miss Gwen what was happening. And Miss Gwen said, no. We will not stand for this. And that's how Jabs was formed. And I think what's so powerful about Jabs is that they're having honest conversations with these kids about bullying, about what does it mean to be black in America? How do we prevent this? And I feel like these are the conversations that we need to be having in school right now. You know, these are the conversations that are going to prevent racism from happening down the road or, or race hate crimes from happening down the road. And I just feel so passionately about the solution to fighting racism starts in your own backyard. And the reason why I wanted to partner with Jabs is, you know, to be an ally. I truly think it means using your platform to uplift other voices. And so this song for me is about, you know, reminding people that there is hope, but we have to be that hope and we have to be the change so that down the road equality can happen for all. I believe it can happen, but I believe that change starts with each one of us acknowledging our privilege or acknowledging our racism and then starting to unlearn that and then teaching others around us. I will mess up, I'm not gonna say the right thing. I won't give up until equality can mean something.